Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to crochet these really cute baby boots. They are by a red heart pattern and the pattern is considered experienced but I really think even a beginner can um, follow along with this video and make these really cute warm baby boots. To begin you're going to need an H 5.00 millimeter crochet hook a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. And also if you'd like to print off the pattern, um, I'm going to be reading from it so you can follow along. For these baby boots, I used a Red Heart acrylic um, worsted weight yarn, and it's just a variegated. I'm gonna have the link um, to this particular yarn in the description box of the video. But for video purposes, I'm just going to use this Red Heart with Love in gray. To begin, you're going to make a slip knot. Grab your yarn and wrap it around your fingers twice. Grab the back loop and put it to the front. And then grab what is now the back yarn and pull it off your fingers. And this creates a slip knot. We're now going to chain nine. Grab your yarn, yarn over, and pull it through for a chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. Round one, we're going to work two double crochet into the third chain from hook. So counting our V's, one, two, three. Two double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that third chain. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through the second two loops. Now, this, see how we have one, two, three Vs right there. I'm actually gonna grab a stitch marker and place it in this second V right here. Now we're gonna place another double crochet into that same stitch. Next we're going to place one double crochet into the next five stitches. Next five chain. So one, two, three, four, five six double crochet into this very last chain. So all six, this will be creating our toe. So I have two, three, and we're gonna be kind of curving around. We're gonna kind of turn our work like this and place the last three onto the back side. And I have one more. Now we're going to be working on this side of the work. So into our next stitch, which is right there, we're going to place a double, one double crochet. One of five. So we're going to do one, two, three, four more double crochet. And as you see, I'm working over my tail a little bit. It just helps to not have to sew in ends. And one more. And then we're going to place three double crochet into the last chain. So I have one, two, three. And at this point, we should have 22 stitches. So I'm gonna just double check. We have our stitch marker stitch. So I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So that's exactly what we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch. And that completes round one. To begin round two, we're going to chain two half double crochet into the same stitch as slip stitched into. 
to half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then we're going to place two half double crochet into the next two stitches. So we're going to be increasing in both these next two stitches. Two half double crochet into each stitch. There's one, two, and one, two. Next, we are going to half double crochet into the next five double crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We're going to increase in the next six stitches. So we're going to place two half double crochet into the next six double crochet. So two half double crochet in each stitch. So I have one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we're going to place a half double crochet into the next five stitches. Two, four, five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now into these last three stitches, we're going to place two half double crochet. And as you see, it almost looks like we have four stitches right here, but that is a fake stitch. We don't want to work into that one. So these next three stitches, we're going to place two half double crochet. And we want to slip stitch to join. And round uh, two here, we should have 34 stitches. So you can go ahead and double check your count and make sure you have 34 stitches before you slip stitch. On round two, I did come up with 34 stitches, but I just wanted to show you guys that this chain at the beginning does count as your first half double crochet. So one, two, that second one right there is where you want to be slip stitching into. That is our first of the 34 stitches. Next is round three. Round three, we're going to chain two and half double crochet through the back loop only all the way around. So as you know, the stitches create kind of a V. So we're going to be half double crocheting, but only grabbing the back loop. So instead of coming to the front of your work like this and going through and through, we're going to be doing the back loop only. So just like this, all the way around. So I'll let you complete this row on your own. There should be just 34 half double crochet, um, back loop only, all the way around. And I will see you for round four. At the end of round three, you're going to slip stitch to your chain two. And now we're going to begin round four. Round four, chain two, half double crochet into the next eight stitches. The chain two will be a stitch. So we're gonna work right into the next stitch. The next eight stitches, so we have half double crochet, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to double crochet two together eight times. To double crochet two together, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Now you're going to stop and yarn over and work into the next stitch. So yarning over, insert your hook into that stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You now have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. And now yarn over lastly and pull through all three loops. So that was a 
Double crochet two together. So we have to do that eight times. So we're going to do it again. Yarning over, insert your hook into the first stitch. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Leaving the last two loops on your hook, yarn over again and insert into the second stitch. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Now you have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. So we have two. Now working with the next two stitches, we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook, grab our yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, work into our second stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop. We have four loops. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over again and pull through all three loops. So that's three times. Now we're gonna do four times. Five times. Six times. seven times, and eight times. Now we're going to go back to our half double crochet and half double crochet nine into the next nine stitches. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and slip stitch to the second of that chain two. And that starts our toe. At the end of row four, or round four, you should have 26 stitches. That's what we just finished. To begin round five, we're gonna chain up two, and we're gonna half double crochet into our next eight stitches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna be double crocheting two together again, but this time we're gonna do it four times. So we're gonna turn those eight um, double crochet two together into four. So we're going to, of course, um, these next two stitches we're going to decrease. So we've got a decrease here. A yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Leaving the last two loops on your hook, yarn over again, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the last three loops. And that's once, and twice, three times, and four times. Now we're going to half double crochet into the last nine stitches. So going back to our half double crochets, we're gonna finish off this row. and slip stitching. At the end of row five, you should have 22 stitches. To begin row six, chain two, half double crochet into the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
And now we're going to half double or double crochet two together two times. So here we go. There's once. Twice. And half double crochet into the last nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and slip stitch to that second stitch of your chain two. Row seven, chain two, and double crochet into each stitch all the way around. You should have 20 stitches. So just one double crochet all the way around for row seven. I will see you for row eight. Row eight, chain two, and half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So that should be 20 half double crochet and I will see you for row nine. Row nine, chain one, and now we're going to single crochet all the way around. So to single crochet, we're going to insert our hook, grab our yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. And we're going to do this in each stitch all the way around. And I will see you in just a minute. All right, lastly, we are going to do round 10, which is a slip stitch all the way around. So we're just going to insert our hook, grab our yarn and pull through and through into each stitch all the way around. When you get to the end, snip your yarn and pull the tail straight through. Then you're going to uh, grab your yarn needle here And we're going to go right over into this next stitch. Just put your needle through like this, pull it through, and then go back down into the center of that previous stitch. And it creates this seamless edge. All right, and then you can just knot off the yarn in the back. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, this video, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I hope you have a wonderful crochet day, and I will see you all next time. Bye!